Hi, Melanie here with another Grassroots Minute for Bernie Sanders. Bernie has been a leader in Congress in the fight against free trade agreements. In his view, these trade deals have offshored a massive amount of decent paying jobs and have closed tens of thousands of factories across the country. So what is a trade agreement? Trade agreements are pacts between countries that concern tax, tariff, and trade. In other words, how business will be conducted between the countries signing the agreement. These pacts usually include some kind of investment, the most common of which is free or preferential trade agreement, which aims to reduce or completely eliminate tariffs, quotas, and various other sorts of restrictions between the signatories. So why is Bernie against most trade agreements? Well, he believes that free trade agreements like NAFTA, PNTR to China, and the U.S.-Korea free trade agreement have allowed too many American jobs to move overseas. Okay, so Bernie said this is um, this past May in an op-ed in the Huffington Post. Listen, since 2001, nearly 60,000 manufacturing plants in the country have been shut down and we've lost over 4.7 million decent paying manufacturing jobs. NAFTA has led to the loss of nearly 700,000 jobs. PNTR with China has led to the loss of 2.7 million jobs. Our trade agreement with South Korea has led to the loss of about 75,000 jobs. While bad trade agreements are not the only reason why manufacturing jobs in the U.S. have declined, they are an important factor. That's what Bernie said. So what's happening right now today? Well, today it's all about the TPP. You may have heard of it, or the Trans-Pacific Partnership. This is a massive trade deal between many countries around the Pacific Ocean uh, involving 650 million people. These countries include Australia, Canada, Chile, uh, Japan, Malaysia, Mexico, New Zealand, Peru, Singapore, and Vietnam. These countries would be able to trade with each other much more freely without large tariffs paid uh, to the government for moving goods around. Now, what's so bad about lowering the barriers to trade? Well, all of the previous trade deals had disastrous consequences for American workers. So there's no reason to expect anything different. Plus, there are parts of the TPP which would also allow corporations to sue governments for actions hurting their profits. This could be so easily abused to limit governments in keeping their citizens and the environment safe. The settlements could even be decided by corporate lawyers. Bernie is leading the movement against the TPP. Here's a statement where he says, let's be clear, I won't do his accent. Let's be clear, the TTP, TPP is much more than a free trade agreement. It's part of a global race to the bottom to boost the profits of large corporations and Wall Street by outsourcing jobs, undercutting worker rights, dismantling labor, environmental health, food safety, and financial laws and allowing corporations to challenge our laws in international tribunals rather than our own court system. How does Bernie propose we keep jobs in the U.S.? Bernie has introduced the Rebuild America Act to the Senate, which would create over 13 million good-paying jobs by investing $1 trillion in our crumbling infrastructure. It would be paid for by closing corporate income tax loopholes and overseas tax havens. Change will not happen, you guys, if we are passive. And we, grassroots supporters, we need your help. So help us, help Bernie, so we can all help ourselves. Be part of the revolution. Go to BernieSanders.com and help today.